Good morning, beautiful people. What's going on today? Hope you guys are enjoying your beautiful Monday. Today is the first challenge of the Throw Photo Challenge. As you guys know from the introduction video, the challenge for today, or for this week rather, is sunsets. So we are heading to my job site that I have to do for work today. I'm um, working out of a hospital. After we leave the hospital though, I'm going to head to Cleveland for the sunset, for the sunset challenge. Wow, that's actually harder to say than I thought it would be. We are headed there because I had a great idea that I figured we could go to Edgewater Park. There's a Cleveland sign that overlooks the Lake Erie, which then overlooks the cityscape. And I think it would be a perfect cityscape, landscape type of shot with the sunset. Come to find out, I'm shooting east like an idiot. I would be shooting from the west to the east and the sun sets in the west. So I had to abandon that and do some research. So I think I've got a great idea. I think ideally, we're gonna go to Edgewater Park still. They have a pier. I'm gonna go underneath the pier, shoot underneath the pier towards the sunset and like silhouette the pier with a nice sunset over the water. I think that's gonna be a great shot. But it just goes to proof that no matter what the situation is, you really gotta research your type of shots. I know Rookser, he's already done the challenge already. I haven't seen the video or the photo or anything. I told him I wanted to wait to get his photo until I at least did my photo. And he's done a cityscape type of shot and he's really impressed with it. That's kind of why I really wanted to go take a cityscape shot too, so we kind of had two similar images. But unfortunately, I can't do that, so we are gonna try the next best thing, hopefully. If I can get a good sun, like glare over the like get a good yellow golden hour shot of the cityscape i'm going to take that as well and see if that's usable but i'm not sure it will be enough because i've looked over the last five days since we kind of discussed this with rookster and told that the first challenge was going to be sunset and today is like the only day that it says any sort of remotely being sunny and it still says cloudy all around the time of sunset besides the two hours of sunset that says sunny. So hopefully we get lucky, we'll have to find out. But like I said, I've gotta to go to work uh, this morning, work through the day, and then I'm gonna head from where I'm at, this hospital, to Cleveland right before sunset. Hopefully we can get there in time. Uh, it is a little bit of a drive, so we have about 45 minutes left uh, from where I'll be at to where Edgewater Park will be. But anyway, guys, I will get you. I will come back once we get to Edgewater Park, and uh, I'll start doing the shots. All right, guys, see you in a second. Well, I just finished up some things for the day, so I'm heading back towards the Cleveland area. We are about 51 minutes away from Edgewater Park. Got my cold weather gear in the back in that laundry basket. I don't know if you guys can see it back there. Can't really tell, can't really look that well because I'm driving. But first things we're gonna do, we got some good sun off. It looks like pretty good sun out there, so we should have a pretty good sunset. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to go to Edgewater Park first to the Cleveland sign and get a nice little landscape shot of the of the cityscape. And then that should give us enough time, because you know how much higher that is with the nice yellow golden hour. Should have enough time to get that shot and then run down to the pier, which is in the same area, and get the actual sunset photo. So we are heading back to the Edgewater Park right now, and I will be back with you guys uh, when we arrive. All right, so here's the deal. I just got to Edgewater Pier and Edgewater Park and the sun is not over the water at all. It's like behind me. So I am trying to figure out where I'm going here real quick. So we're gonna have to beeline change our direction 
because it's exact opposite of the way that I was going to shoot. Like I was going to shoot that way. Like the sun would have been behind us the way I was planning on shooting. So what we're trying to do now is we're scrambling and trying to find a different shot. I had another option that I had mentioned earlier. I have no idea if it's even going to be remotely good, but it's 4.30 and sunsets like in 15 minutes i'm going through a tunnel sorry sunsets in like 15 minutes so this place is like seven minutes away so i'm trying to run here see if the shot is any good if it's any good we'll use it if it's not it'll give me time to scramble back and we're just gonna have to do a golden hour shot at sunset not of a sunset so my interpretation of this shot may be taking the shot at sunset as opposed to of a sunset. So I hope that makes sense. But we're scrambling now, so I will uh, update when I figure out what we're gonna do. All right, well, I don't know how this is gonna go, but uh, we kind of found a decent little shot out here at the pier, as you can tell. So I'm thinking maybe we use these pier as a pretty nice little uh, leading lines towards the sunset. Maybe try to get a little bit of the, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure it out, but get back to you in a second here once I take a look around and see if I could find the best sort of shot. All right, I found a pretty good composition that I like. It, uh, it's got a little bit of the city, Cleveland Brown Stadium, a boat, some water, the sunset, it all kind of encompasses it all. So I think that's what we're gonna go with. So we'll get set up and I'll go GoPro mode here in a second and let you guys know what I'm doing. All right guys, hang on tight. All right, we are here. We are set up with our composition. The GoPro is obviously a little slightly wider than my camera is. Um, as you can see, the sun is setting down pretty, pretty low. Uh, we're almost there. We're just waiting for the light to be perfect. The shot, there's a airport right off to the right here, kind of in line with where the sun is raining across here. Um, I'll try to point it like right here. It's kind of where the sun, or yeah, right where the sun is. There's an airport that kind of goes along here. I'm kind of hoping we can get a plane to go take off and maybe capture it in this shot. Let's see if I can get some of these birds. Looking pretty good. We got some good silhouetting. I'm bracketing currently. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I might be able to bring in some of the details that I want, especially in the foreground with the water. I know some of these shots are gonna have blown out skies and some of these shots are gonna be have silhouetted, but I'm just trying to get some shots so later on I can go in and mask like the foreground here with the icicles along the water the leading lines towards the sunset. I think this is gonna be a pretty decent shot. I, I was a little bit worried considering uh, what was going on, but uh, I think I might have might have salvaged something. So we'll see how this goes. Ooh, that sun's looking mighty pretty right now. And I'm not changing my composition at all, so everything should line up because I'm on a tripod, so that's, that's gonna be pretty easy to do in post. But I'm pretty happy with the shot overall. Yo, are you guys seeing how many birds there are right now? Holy Moses, this is insane. We are out here still. Uh, sun is setting right behind me as you can tell. Hold on, it's cold. I got gloves on. Well, anyway, we finally got the shot. There are tons of birds flying. I don't know if you can see them behind me. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. I'm sure they'll be in the photos, but I guess this is feeding time for them in this, in this nice crisp sun daylight with the sun setting. Uh, maybe the fish come to the surface, I don't know. But we got plenty of good photos, I think. I'm gonna take them back into Lightroom. We're gonna get going home and I will meet you guys back in the office. Hey guys, welcome back into the office here. I am finally finished with the final, uh, processing of the first image. It was quite an extensive edit uh, to not only call through the photos, but to put the idea of what I wanted to do together. And I kind of wanted to walk you through really quickly. I'm not gonna go through the whole edit because it literally it's 12 o'clock at midnight right now. 
I got done shooting at about 5.15, got home about 6.30, went and got dinner and came back and pretty much started since. So it's been a good three hours on this one pretty much edit, two and a half hours uh, of an edit. And uh, so I'll kind of just show you guys the brief, uh, the brief edit here real quick. So let me load the software here and get into Lightroom here. Okay, we are into the wonderful world of Lightroom here. And as you guys can tell, uh, this photo does not look very good. Uh, it's underexposed. And the reason for that is because I wanted to make sure I exposed for the, the sunlight here. And sometimes you gotta underexpose the image because if you don't and you overexpose the image, it doesn't really show very good in the sunlight. Or if you even get worse, it gets even worse. So what I did here was I underexposed the one image and then I overexposed the other image here. And as I said, when I was shooting the photos, I was bracketing. And what that means is I shoot one underexposed, one right exposed and one overexposed. So you have a little bit of both. And the reason why I wanted to overexpose was because of this detail, the stuff right here, like these icicles, all the detail in the buildings. You can see, you know, here you can see the Hilton sign, Key Bank things like that, the glass windows and everything, you get that in the overexposed look and that you're not gonna get in the underexposed look even when you try to save it by, you know, let's just raise the shadows, increase, the, you know, try to do everything we can to brighten this photo up here. And then you zoom in, you don't get really good detail. It's really, really noisy because you're artificially adding light. So it makes the photo really noisy. It's hard to even see where the Hilton is. So what you do is you take an underexposed like this and an overexposed and you bring them into Lightroom. And what you do is you make sure the photos are on the exact same spot as you can tell. Nothing in these photos is moved because it was on a tripod. And then you edit this photo the way you want the photo to kind of look. Then I took both photos into Lightroom, this photo and this photo, into, I'm sorry, into Photoshop. And then I just, I've let, put this layer on top, erased everything, and then brushed in the details of the areas that I wanted to show detail in. Like in here with the icicles, and you know, this detail right here on this little like, uh, whatever this thing, this chain holder that's really in the foreground. And then the buildings, and then, and then over here is the Cleveland Brown Stadium as well. So I brushed all those in, got all the details, did a complete and full edit, and here is the final image. Very poppy, tons of contrast to the image, still tons of detail. You can still see the key bank thing. You can still see the Hilton. You can read the Hilton if you zoom in. You know, so there's still a lot of things you can do. It really pops the color and I like it a lot. So with that being said, here is my completed image once again. Here is Rookser's image, and again, his link will be in the description to his video on how he shot the video. So please go over there and watch his video because it will explain how he shot his video just like I showed how I shot my uh, photo. And here are the photos side by side. And if you like the video, please don't forget to put a like. Leave a comment with whose video or picture you like better. If you have some critiques you'd like to make, please leave a comment. If you guys remember from the introduction, this Sunday at 9 p.m., we're gonna be doing a live stream for both these photos, where we're gonna critique each other's photos. If you guys post any photos, we're gonna critique those and kinda of go over those. And we're gonna kinda of come up with a winner and hopefully punish the loser. But with that being said, guys, I've rambled on enough today and I am tired. So, thank you for watching the video. Thanks for supporting the channel and this new video series. I hope you guys kinda of like where it's going. Again, next week's challenge is gonna be sound through photography. I have a great idea. I think it's gonna involve a waterfall. Gotta see if it's gonna work out because in my head when I think of water and waterfalls and photography, I always in my head just has that imagining that sound of the w rushing water uh, from when I went to Niagara Falls when I was a kid. But anyway guys, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for supporting the channel again. If you're still riding, don't forget to keep that rubber side down. And uh, don't forget to guys, click up here and vote on the poll on which video, I'm sorry, not video, which photo you like better. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Take care. We'll see you on Sunday. Bye. I see you dancing on the polar just want to have a good time.
pensando a io, il rogo solo 